Hello, this is Vern, and on today's video, I'm going to share with you six signs that the guy you're spending your time with is wasting your time. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, and heart-centered women how you can attract the man and the relationship you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulations, or silly techniques. The first sign that the guy you're investing time with is wasting your time is when he is unclear about what he wants from life, what he wants to do with his life. Why would this be the case? Well, when a guy doesn't know what he stands for, when he doesn't know what his sense of direction is pointing towards, the ability to add tremendous value to your life greatly diminishes. He's going to have to figure this thing out at some point or another. That thing he wants might be different from what you want, but Think about it. If you don't know what you're living for, how can you add the certainty, the grounding, the depth, and the presence to someone when you need to do whatever it takes to figure and find that out? Now, if you're with a guy who doesn't care to find that out, then good luck with you in terms of his ambition and his ability to create a life of awesomeness for both of you. Number two, he's unclear about what he wants in a relationship. There's so many women who connect with a man with the secret desire or the secret agenda to get him, his vision, to align with hers. Now, if a guy you're connecting with, if you know what you want in a relationship, if you know you want marriage, if you know you want children, if you know you want specific things, and the guy you're connecting with that doesn't even know that he wants those things, then again, you're wasting your time. Why? Because if you want those things and he wants those things, it may not happen. But if you want those things and he's unaware of what he wants in a relationship, then you're putting yourself at a gigantic disadvantage because you are being the adult, you are being the one who knows what both of you want, and you're going to feel disappointed time and time again when he's going through his emotional puberty of sorts, trying to figure out what is he looking for out of a woman, what he's looking for out of a long-term relationship or short-term relationship when you are clear about what you want. Number three. He wants commitment in his heart, but his life stage doesn't allow him to focus on commitment. What does that mean? Well, he wants commitment, but he's going through this program right now where he has to go to work and go to school, and he has one effective hour to feed himself and to do his laundry <laughs> a day. Now, that leaves you with nothing. That leaves you with crumbs. Now, this might be for a short amount of time where it's willing to take the risk, but if a guy is going through that stuff and it's going to be a year, two years, three years of that, again, you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage if you're not going through the same thing because you probably have your life figured out in that way, you probably have your career figured out, and if he's still figuring it out, if he wants to do it but he doesn't have the time or cannot prioritize your relationship, you're always going to be feeling like you have the short end of the stick, like you have crumbs, and not only that, you're going to let him know in your voice in your attitude, in your excitement about him, that he's falling short of being the great guy that he wants to be, which means he'll feel like he can never do enough, even though he's working his heart out, and you'll feel like you have half of a boyfriend, which is a bad deal for you. Number four, he fears commitment more than he fears losing you. Let's say here's a guy who knows what he wants in life, who knows what he wants in a relationship, but he's more afraid of losing freedom than he's afraid of losing you. Again. You can connect to guys who are afraid of commitment, but are taking the necessary steps to go forward, but there's gonna be guys you connect with who are gonna be the eternal bachelor that, again, you're gonna to have to be the therapist, the mother, uh, the confidant, and the friend who helps him get his courage out, where you could have been connecting with another guy who has a greater capacity to commit because he understands Point number six, which I'll share with you in a second. Number five, he's ambiguous about your showstoppers. Let's say he's a guy who in principle has the ability to commit, but he wants different things from you, or he's unclear that the things that are the most important things to you are things he can commit to. For example, you want children, and he doesn't know if he wants children. You want marriage, and he doesn't know if he wants marriage. You need to live in a different city, and he's not sure if he can commit to living in a different city. Why is this a bad deal for you? It's a bad deal for you because if you connect with someone who is unclear about something that will terminate the relationship if it doesn't get fulfilled, 
It's only a matter of time before you reach a point of impasse where you'll have to do an ultimatum. And if that ultimatum is not met, then you'll have to start over. Where you could have been connecting with someone who from the start, from the beginning, wants the greatest things that you want. Will you connect with a guy who wants everything you want? Unlikely. But you want to make sure that the guy you're connecting with, that you're spending time with, that you're creating a future together, wants the most important things you want. It's not negative towards them, or is ambiguous or unclear about them. Last one is, he hasn't committed to a life of service. What does that mean? There comes a time, a point in a man's life where he recognizes that the greatest meaning, the greatest depth, and the greatest happiness doesn't come from what you do to fulfill yourself or to make yourself comfortable, but what you do for other human beings, which in turn comes back in a sense of meaning and purpose and fulfillment. There's going to be guys who never get this message. There's going to be guys who get this message at 20, 30, 40. If you connect with a guy who's still all about himself, who's just chasing the money, who's chasing fame, who's chasing validation, and hasn't found the right balance to give more of himself to a family, to a woman, and to the world, then, again, you're connecting to an unconscious man who needs to mature to be able to offer you the kind of depth you're seeking. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. As it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. If you want to learn how to enter the best relationship of your life, and you've been struggling and not being able to do it, there's a training I created for you. If you click on the first link in the description of this video and enter it in an email, it will redirect you to start watching that email right away. If you like this video, click like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel so you can get notified of new episodes. And last but not least, if you have been struggling with creating the attraction, the commitment, and the depth you seek with a man, if you've been watching videos, not just my videos, many other videos, if you've been reading books, if you've been doing your effort to create this kind of relationship and you're not getting there, my hypothesis is if you could have done this alone, you would have done that already. If you want my hand holding and help to get there in a tenth of the time it would take you on your own, <laughs> then on the second link in the description of this video, you can apply to connect with me. And if we're a great fit to work together, I can share with you how I can hold you by the hand as you create this attraction and this commitment that you're seeking. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you, live a full and conscious life.